It is laid to rest at the same cemetery he had a hand in creating. Brigadier General Robert Cardenas was honored in a funeral ceremony at Miramar National Cemetery. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill spoke with the general's son and longtime friend about the legacy he leaves behind. General, I salute you. I think over the years I, I finally figured it out. It wasn't about trying to match his achievements. It was really trying to be the kind of guy he was. And uh, he loved his country. <laughs> he was a, he loved being an American. Family, friends, and others came to honor and celebrate the life of Brigadier General Robert Cardenas. He was 102 years old, and there was no shortage of memories and stories at his funeral ceremony at Miramar National Cemetery. He had an amazing presence, a commanding presence. Bob was all, anything and everything having to do with veterans, especially in this city. Cardenas' career is nothing short of remarkable. A career spent in the air and on the ground, from serving in combat and leadership roles in the U.S. military, to helping break the sound barrier, and with the creation of Miramar National Cemetery. It would be his final resting place. This place is, to him, was somewhere special, and, and uh, so him being laid to rest here is... Uh, it's, a be it's beautiful for us. A sight at the funeral that's as majestic as the man being honored. A B-2 bomber flying overhead, something that touched Cardenas' family and others. He told me the only thing he wanted, only thing he wanted at his funeral was a flyby. And he wanted a B-2 because he flew up the flying wing, which is predecessor of this. It almost as if I felt like, um, in a way, it was a, a perfect send off for him. Um, almost as if he was actually in the plane flying and, and, and leaving us. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.